Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 22nd of October to the 26th of October 2018. As always, we're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of markets, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. We're also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also for the week's ahead. So let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. As always, starting with the US dollar index. Now we start the week above the key area of broken resistance, looking to turn to support at 95.39. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 95.39, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside in the target set at the 96.78. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside and target two, the 97.04. Now, when we get them this close together, it's very unlikely that we can take a trade between these two levels. So what we do is we'll just be considering this as a conservative target and this as a more aggressive target in the US dollar index next week. As the US dollar index has fallen back into line with the overall trend, we will also be going into next week with a bullish bias on the US dollar index. So next one we're going to look at is crude oil. Now we start the week down below the key area of broken support, looking to turn resistance at the 70.56. If we can get a pullback, and if we can preferably get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at 70.56, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set. And you can see we came very close to this last week, but we failed to actually take it out at the 68.36. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and target two at the 67.16. So the first pair we're going to look at is Euro dollar. Now last week we bounced from the key area of broken support turning resistance at the 1.16174 as highlighted in last week's forecast. And you can see we sold off quite nicely from this area. So very simply put, as we start the week below the key area of broken support turning resistance at the 1.16174, if we can get a pullback and preferably for those already not involved, if we can get another retest of broken support turning resistance at the 1.16174. This is once again going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts in the euro dollar down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 1.1310. The next pair we're going to look at is pound dollar. Now we start the week below the key area of broken support looking to turn resistance at the 1.31230. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 1.31230, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 1.2941. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two, the 1.2832. So the next market we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now you can see the US dollar Japanese yen is structured to the downside. We're starting the week down below the 113.50 and which this actually signifies a weakness of the dollar against the yen. So we'll come and explain exactly why that is in a second. But as we start the week below the key area of broken support, looking to turn resistance to the 113.50, if we can get a pullback and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance to the 113.50, this is where we can start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we can start to consider initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 111.14. And if we get a break through here, we'll be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside and target two at the 110.28. Now, because this is structured to the downside, and the dollar is strong going into next week, it means that we can actually pull information from this chart, from this one chart. And this tells us actually that the yen is also strong going into next week. So something to consider if you're trading other pairs as well, the Japanese yen is looking to also be strong with the dollar next week. 
And we may find because we have two strong currencies paired against each other here, all we do is correct into this resistance level next week. And you may find the US dollar Japanese yen actually doesn't have much volatility coming into it next week. So we can either look for this big correction next week in the US dollar Japanese yen, or there's nothing wrong with skipping the US dollar Japanese yen completely, filtering it next week and just saying I'm going to look for other dollar pairs instead because I'm trading otherwise a strong dollar against a strong yen. So this is the way the US dollar yen is structured, but there are likely going to be better dollar pairs to trade next week, such as the euro dollar, etc. So next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie dollar. Now we start the week below key area of broken support from the past at the 0 0.72025. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken support, turning resistance at the 0 0.72025, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set, the 0 0.6947. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in target two, at the 0 0.6832. So the next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand dollar. Now we start the week below and in fact testing a key area of broken support, turning resistance once, twice at the 0 0.65997. This going into next week is a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 0 0.6400. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key of support to the downside in the target set at the 0 0.6348. So next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now we start the week above key area of broken resistance, turning support at the 0 0.99553. And you can see we're already testing this as support already. So going into next week, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in the target set, the 1.0038. And if we can get a break through here and break through both of these, you can consider this pretty much as one target. You could call this a more conservative target here, a more aggressive target here. But if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside in target three at the 1.0098. So next we're going to look at is the US dollar CAD. Now we start the week above key area of broken resistance, turning support at the 1.30695. If we can get a pullback, and if we can get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance, turning support, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside of the target set, the 1.3174. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside and target two, at the 1.3226. And last but not least, we have gold. Now we start the week above the key area of broken resistance, looking to turn support at the 120800. If we can get a pullback, and preferably if we can get a retest of broken resistance, turning support at the 120800, this is going to be a place we can start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we can consider initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in the target set at the 1236.50. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside in target two at the 1261.19. Now, very similar to the US dollar Japanese yen next week, you can see gold is actually paired with the dollar. And this is suggesting that gold is actually looking to be more valuable than the US dollar next week. And this actually is structured in a way which would be looking at dollar weakness. So what can we take from this? Well, again, with gold and the US dollar Japanese yen, they're structuring in the opposite way to the US dollar next week. So the dollar is looking strong and these are both structured for dollar weakness. And what it's telling us is it's no coincidence that it's gold and the Japanese yen because these are both safe haven assets. And after that decline in the S&P 500 last week, we saw money going into the safe haven assets. So although this is structured to the upside in the same way the US dollar yen is structured to the downside, we can consider trades 
especially involving the US dollar against safe haven assets like the yen or gold, these will be slightly riskier next week. And it wouldn't surprise me in gold to see the same we might see in the US dollar yen, which is essentially corrective moves and potentially just pulling all the way back to the 120800 next week as we have a stronger dollar and we also have the safe haven asset in gold. So US dollar, Japanese yen and gold, they may be more risky next week with a strong dollar. Just bear that in mind. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to everybody who does that on a regular basis. And a big thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel so far. I want to wish you all a nice weekend and I hope you will have a very profitable week next week. The only thing left to say is take care and don't forget to trade safely.